Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to explore a little bit on how to delete the, the uploaded files, because here what we are using uh, those Django module, named book, and we have the PDF and the cover. But then as we saw in the previous tutorials, uh, those files, they are actually saved in the file system. They are not saved in the database. So uh, in the database is just a reference to this file. We can see here, if we check the database, db shell. So select refrain from core book. So this is what we have, the ID of the, uh, the entry and then the title, the author name. And then here the PDF is actually just a string, just a text that Jang will use to uh, locate the file in the file system or in a cloud server or whatever. But this is the, the reference it used. So it's a unique reference. And then naturally, if we delete the file or the, the instance, so not going to delete the, uh, the uploaded files. So that's what we want to fix now. But first, let's just add here uh, a button to handle the delete. So we can do something like um, view here, delete book. If was dot uh, method as a post and here and a primary key so we get book and then book dot delete and return to the book list. Yeah, can do something like that. So we don't need that template. We are just going to execute this code here and then go back to the, um, the book list. So let's just create here a path as books and then an integer primary key, which is going to be the uh, ID of the book that we are going to pass. And then views delete book. Okay. And then now we can add a, a button here like we have with the download. So now the URL, delete book, and then book not primary key. So I'm referencing here this book inside the for loop. So for each book, it's going to render a unique ID here. And we put just delete. Uh, button danger should be a red button. Let's see. Okay. But then here, uh, actually, it's not what we want to do because it needs a form request, a post request. I mean, it's going to be post. Yes. And then action. So here we are going to put inside the action. Yeah, because uh, you should never modify data, save or delete using get request. Should always uh, use post to modify uh, data in your database. So instead of putting it as a link, we put as a button, type submit. And we can just reuse this here. Yeah. 
You see, it's going to look pretty much the same. Not much difference. But then it's a whole new story now because it's a form, it's going to submit. So, okay, we have here this book. We can see the PDF here. So let's try to delete and see if it works. Okay, it deleted from here. But then the issue is that the file is still here on the, the file system. So what we can do here is actually override the uh, inst the model delete method is here on the documentation we have some instructions we can use it both for the save method or for the delete it's pretty much the same so what we do is something like that we call here we redefine the method and here is the real call but then before uh, calling the delete method, we are going to delete here the uh, the cover and the book, the PDF. We can paste here this code. So instead of save, it's going to be delete. And before calling the delete method, we do self.pdf.delete self.cover.delete now let's try again delete the Alice book so let's check here first okay then right it was deleted and then also from uh, the uploaded files here same thing so this was the uh, the other one so just remove it here and basically that's it the only fallback not fallback i mean the downside of this strategy is that if you call uh, the book dot objects dot delete to make like a book delete like filtering for some criteria and uh, this is not going to trigger this method so instead you should do something like uh, books you get the books so inside the for loop a book in books you call one by one so it's not going to be very uh, efficient but then it's going to solve here the problem. Really depends on the application needs. Okay, that's that's it for now.